So in my last video, I tried to figure out what the change of reach would be as handlebars got wider. But quite a few of you were not happy with my humanities-based approach and wanted me to do the maths. Also, one of you not very happy with how I use the tape measure. Apparently this ratcheting just drives you crazy and I should never ever do it again. So in this video, I am going to apply the maths and we're gonna see how far off I was uh, using the tape measure. Uh, there was a lot of concern that these hash marks were just willy-nilly printed on the bars. Well, let me assure you, I measured it and across the three sizes, they seem to line up just fine. I also measured each of the bars from hash mark to hash mark to make sure that these bars were indeed as wide as their uh, stated widths were. And what I found measuring from hash mark to hash mark across uh, the bars did yield their stated widths. So that's to say I've got the 46 uh, centimeter bar here. And from this hash mark to this hash mark, it does line up as 46 uh, centimeters. So that is where they're taking their measurement. And that also rang true for the 48 and 52. So I would suggest that these hash marks are relatively accurately printed, that they are not just randomly placed as some of you were concerned about. But on to the math. So apparently we're gonna use the Pythag Pythagorean 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 theorem to solve for this diagonal measurement of reach. So one of the reasons I didn't do this in initially is, you know, English major. But also I felt like I couldn't get an accurate measurement of this side here because uh, I'd have to measure from the tip of the saddle uh, magically through the steer tube and floating in space trying to capture uh, where this first hash mark intersects. But I did my best and that measurement on this bike is 53. And again, a note about these numbers, these Numbers will change relative to your uh, how your bike is set up. And <clears throat> so these aren't meant to be gospel, but just uh, a means to kind of figure out the delta when you change a wider handlebar and how it affects reach. According to the maths, uh, a, a squared plus b squared equals c squared. And running through the calculations, that yields 3,338. 3, a uh, square root of that is 57.7. I think my measurement was 57 centimeters. So for, again, apologies, English major. Moving up to the 48 centimeter bar, that'd be 53 squared plus 24 squared equals C squared. C squared in this case was 3,388. A uh, square root of that yielded 58.1. So 58.1 was a reach for 48 centimeters. So far that delta between 46 and 48 centimeters is about half a centimeter or 0.4 centimeters to be precise using the maths. So moving on to the 52 centimeter handlebar, solving for C squared in this case, that gave me 59.03. So it's actually pretty accurate using just the humanities based tape measure. So curiously, the change in reach between 46 to 52 is actually just about, you know, one centimeter. So what does this tell us? So between 46 and 48, the, the change in reach, this kind of long end of the triangle was only 0.4 centimeters. So just under half a centimeter. Between the 48 and 52 centimeter handlebar, uh, the change in reach was about 0.93. So just under one centimeter. Curiously, the change in reach between the 46 and the 52 was overall just only 1.33 centimeters. So a lot less than you would think. And I think this kind of confirms my humanities based approach with the tape measure. I thought it would be more drastic. Tape measure told me that it wasn't as drastic and the maths also confirmed that. So applying maths to the second part of that video, what if you wanted to run a 52 centimeter handlebar, but wanted the same uh, diagonal reach as a 46, how long should your stem be? So to solve this, I took the C squared measurement of uh, the 46 centimeter handlebar, subtracted from that the B squared measurement of the 52 centimeter handlebar to solve for the A squared, which is this length from the point of the saddle to this uh, area in space. So essentially solving for A squared and with that, uh, I got 51.5 centimeter. So we would have to reduce that reach from 53 to 51.5. So that's a difference of 1.5 centimeters or essentially going from a 
90 millimeter stem to a 75 millimeter stem. So I don't know how common a 75 millimeter stem is. We'd have to either choose between a 70 or an 80 millimeter uh, stem. So my suggestion in the previous video of dropping down to an 80 centimeter stem to get an equivalent reach actually wasn't too far off, even when applying the mass. Okay guys, I hope you appreciate this science-based slash math-based approach. Uh, again, I am an English major. I make these videos out of the pure joy of making videos. And I do my best. You know, I am not perfect. Please try to remember that before you try to comment. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and as always, keep the supple side down.